Hello guys, my name is Philip, and of course the alias I go around on the internet is Donut Deflector. Welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to turn Lubuntu, and to that extension, LXDE, into a Windows 95 lookalike. You will, a you will be able to adapt these instructions to work with XFCE and maybe even Mate. I, I know that um, these instructions will kind of work on XFCE. You're going to have to do a bit of uh, work and learn about the system a bit more if you're totally new. Um, I'm going to assume you know nothing in this tutorial, so uh, just something to keep in mind. Anyways, onwards to the tutorial. Okay, guys, we are in the virtual machine right now. We'll get started with uh, changing the GTK theme. Um, go right down to your menu, Preferences, Customize Look and Feel. A default theme called Redmond is available under Widget, and this already makes LXDE look a lot like Windows 95. So we're going to apply that there. As you can see, our bar has changed down here somewhat, and our theme in this Firefox is broken. <laughs> because of the change, you're going to have to restart your computer, or restart Firefox, rather. And you can see our menu is now different. Now, I have a bunch of links here of uh, different things we're going to need to get to make it look more like Windows 95. Uh, so the first thing we're going to get is Open Redmond, which is an open box theme. You can see it looks like this. The bar is a sort of gradient getting darker and then lighter. So, uh, nostalgia. Click on download right here. Save file. And you're going to just click on this once. As, and as you can see, it says Open Redmond was installed to slash home slash philip slash dot themes. Click OK there. And it automatically applies itself. So you can see the windows here have changed their look. Now the next thing we're going to do is get some icons. I'm going with Classic 95 here. As you can see, they look quite old and uh, nostalgia will take you guys back if you're old enough. This is hosted on SourceForge, so we're just going to go ahead and get to the downloads here. It is uh, hosted on SourceForge. It's in a uh, targz file, so we're going to have to unzip it. Okay, let's save this. Alright, let's open up one file manager, go to downloads. We don't need this anymore. And as you can see, it's right here. We're going to extract that real quick. So now what we have to do is open up another uh, file manager window and show hidden folders, folders that start with dot. So you can either go to view, show hidden, right click, show hidden, or press control H. This does vary between different file managers, but uh, control H is pretty much the universal shortcut. Um, anyways, if there's a folder not called dot icons already there, then create one. Double click on that and just drag classic 95 right in. I will also note that um, you can get more of the original icons from this DeviantArt page right here. Um, even if, like, uh, let's say there are some icons that are not in classic 95, you're able to get it from here as well. The next thing we're going to customize is the command prompt, or rather the terminal. But we're going to have to use the Windows command prompt font. Defont.com has this, so click the download button and save that. Again, open up two file manager windows. Have one go to downloads and create a folder called dot fonts if it's not already there. Navigate to that directory. Now, um, unzip this. You can just unzip it directly to to the dot fonts, but whatever. And just drag that right into dot fonts. The next thing we're going to need to do with our terminal is uh, use this paste bin thing 
and put this in our .bashrc file. So I'm going to copy this and I'm going to show you what it does and how you should do this. So again, navigate to your file manager and go to something called .bashrc. Scroll all the way to the bottom and paste it right in. Now when you open up your terminal, this is what you see. You can see that this top part has changed to say C drive Windows System32 command.exe and you can see in the terminal that it has this part right added up right here and the host name and machine name is uh, C drive and then your directory. Now we're also going to have to change our font here if you want to make it look more authentic. So right click, go to preferences and change your terminal font to Windows Command Prompt. It should be near the bottom. And also change the font size to something like 13 or larger. As you can see, the font has now changed. Another thing you're going to have to do when preferences is change the cursor style to underline because that's what the default is in um, Windows 95. So now, you can see that everything will work. It's just that the terminal looks different. So everything will fun function absolutely normally. The next thing we're going to do is change the start button down here, or the applications menu rather. So just uh, save this image somewhere. I'm going to say, uh, what I usually do is uh, save this in a hidden folder. So again, that was show hidden files, create folder, and I make a folder called dot modifications. But you can put this anywhere you want, your pictures directory, anywhere. And I'm going to rename this to something um, more descriptive. Win Windows 95 start button. And there it's saved. Now right click on the applications menu icon, go to menu settings, browse, and navigate to that directory where your start button is close and now you can see it, the start button is now from Windows 95. Remember those um, icons we were, uh, that we previously installed? We're gonna get to installing that right now. Go to the applications menu, preferences, customize look and feel. Go to icon theme and now select classic 95. As you can see, the icons are now Windows 95-esque. The ones in the applications menu right here are not yet changed. You're going to have to restart your computer. The next thing we're going to do is change the wallpaper. The default wallpaper is a weird teal color, so let's do that. Right click, desktop preferences. Change wallpaper mode to fill with background color only. Change your background color to this hexadecimal value. Under color name, that hashtag sign or number symbol or octothorpe or tic-tac-toe grid or whatever you want to call it. 008080. Click OK. And as you can see, it's the most ugly teal color I've ever seen in my life. But this is the default background. Um, now, it's really just the small, little, little, tiny details that you can configure to make this look more like Windows 95. Anyways, guys, that's how you turn Lubuntu into Windows 95. You all have a good day and keep on customizing.